Hey everyone, Pi Nation here. Welcome to another episode of Mother One. In the last episode, we got to the superintendent's office and we're about to take on the boss of this zoo. Okay, so yeah, I was waiting for a bit there because I uh, didn't know what my past me was doing. Anyways, suddenly from inside the capsule, a battle. Here we go guys, the first ever Starman Jr. in the whole Earthbound series. Okay, so to start off here, you want to go to Goods and tie him up with the rope. Um, because that way you can just beat up on him and it's literally no challenge at all. But he, if you don't do that, he is really tough. <laughs> just saying. Because he knows PSI powers himself and they hurt a lot. Okay, so, Nintendo tried defense down. I don't know why I did that first. I would have tied him up the rope, but hey. Rope, yes, thank you. Okay, so Starman uh, Jr. is bound with rope, and now we can just beat up on him and everything's fine. He won't even be able to get any attacks in on us. Ooh, a smash! And with that, the odd sound that drove all the animals insane died down. The zoo once more became a safe place. And yay, no more spooky music. So, with that, we're just gonna leave the zoo. Okay, so yeah, um, you won't run into any battles here anymore. Um, and on the way out of the zoo, you want to make sure to check that uh, enclosure with the singing monkey in it. It's to get our third melody. It's just over here. Oh, that's right. Hang on, I'll be right back because I spend forever trying to figure out how to talk to the monkey, even though all you do is check the sign. Okay, so about time they actually check the stupid thing. One of a kind, see the singing monkey. The singing monkey sang with passion. And there we go, our third melody, Nintendo remembered the tune. Okay, so with that, we're just gonna make our way out of the zoo now. That's just around here, it's gonna take a bit though. Okay, and I'm back. I just sped that up there because, well, it just took a tiny bit to get out of the zoo. Anyways, um, now I'm going to head back to our home, so I'm going to cut here quickly and I'm just going to heal up because we are super low and I don't want to chance what's coming up uh, with the health and PP we're at. So I'll be back in just a sec. Okay, and we're back guys. Um, so now we're back at this T intersection from where you go to the zoo. Instead of going left, we're going to go right this time. Also make sure that you have at least one PP before going this way, because you're going to need to use your telepathy in a second. <clears throat> so we're going to make our way up here, and battle, of course. It's just a sunk. Easy peasy. Okay, and we're gonna go across this bridge, and then up some more, and then cross another bridge. This bridge uh, used, was blocked, but now that we've like made the zoo better, it's like the curfew's been gone. Although I can't see one of the travels ever restricted, I heard that you can communicate with telepathy. Have you heard all the of the people talking about you? But you probably don't need to listen to them. Now you can use telepathy on them, uh, like you can do it now, but you could also do it when the curfew was there and I believe that something happened, I can't remember what though, if anything even happened, I just remember doing um, telepathy on them at one point. Anyways, we're coming down here, there should be a cave right there, and we're just going to go through this cave. Ooh, it's all spooky. 
But yeah, I absolutely love uh, what they did with the visuals in this game. Like, all they had was a certain amount of color palettes, and yet they still made it look pretty cool. Like, this road here is only three colors, black, creamy white, and a greeny brown. Anyways, what's that? If we go up to it, and try checking it... Wait, a voice is speaking into Nintendo's mind. So? Who are you talking to? Let's try telepathy past me. Thank you. Telepathy, go. Press A. Please. Attend felt this question enter his mind. Who was lost? Oh, who lost his uh, tail? Finding the entry in great grandfather's diary, Ten read out loud, the forgotten one of the ship that sails the cosmos. And here we are guys, this place is Magic Cant. Uh, we'll be getting into what Magic Cant is in a later episode, but for now I'd say let's talk to the locals and see what's going on. Um, because this place is weird and trippy. You're a strange person, but for some reason, I like you. Oh, thanks. Now let's see what you get to say. I wish I could go into the castle to see Queen Mary. Hmm, that feels like a reference. If you need the beloved old man, go to Queen Mary's fountain for his help. He will hear your soulful cry and come to help. Soulful cry. Remember, soulful cry. Yeah, I think I just said screw it to talking to that one. Anyways, um, we will begin into what's in the houses here in a sec. I'm only going to be showing a couple because, well, we're running low on time and uh, it's about almost time to round things up anyways. Deep in the woods is a guitar player who is a hermit. Not that bad looking of a man, but I thought he was a hermit. Best of all, He's quite a... I didn't get to read that last part. Oh. Anyways, up here, these um, houses with the sevens on them, they're stores. Um, and you, we will be able to buy things in like here in a sec, just that we don't have too much money on ourselves right now. So yeah, um, we're going to be saving up for the best equipment here, which is the magic coin, gold ring, and something else. Can't remember what the something else was. But these are all just straight up defense items. <sighs> Man, ow, bit my lip. So what's in this? So I think this store is the golden ring. Yeah, gold ring. So we're going to be getting those two. And the other store sells pendants. Um, and there's going to be three pendants there that we're eventually going to get all three because they are protections for each element, such as water, earth, and fire. Yes, I got the repel ring, which I reckon is a waste of a slot because you sacrifice damage for, um, like not being able to run into as many battles. Then you got the HTO pendant, fire pendant, and earth pendant there. Uh, here we got the doctor's place. You can get free heals here. I'm pretty sure they're free. Uh, yeah, free. Didn't take any money. 
there's two places in Magic Hand where you can heal up for free, so don't worry about that. Anyways, I'm gonna leave everything off here, and in the next episode of Mother One, we will explore this place a little bit more.